May the Harlem Children's Zone is celebrating its 20th anniversary today, and what started as a social policy experiment to support the Harlem community has grown into a successful data-driven model uh, to break generational poverty at scale across the country. Join us now with what's uh, to come. We saw the last 20. We're going to look into the, hopefully see what happens in the next 20. Stanley Druckenmiller, Duquesne Family Office CEO. Uh, Jeffrey Canada, a president of the Harlem Children's Zone. And that's who uh, I, uh, I think of as, as the, the, the guy who thought this up and, and um, was early 20 years ago. And Kwame Owusu Kese, he's CEO currently of the, the Harlem Ch Children's Zone. So we've, we've had this conversation before, uh, gentlemen, and uh, I think most people know what we're talking about. But let's start there again, Jeff, because it was 20 years ago. Uh, and you looked around, you're trying to figure out what we need to do. And you said, we need to, to look at these poor communities and we need to structure a middle class environment for these kids. And it was like, whoa, how much would that cost? And is it even possible? That's what you did. Uh, it was funded and it was expensive, but you started using data early on and you've got data to prove that it works. Is, is that, does that summarize essentially what happened, Jeff? I, I think that summarizes what happened, how it happened. Uh, but I want to start the morning by doing something radical that I've never done on national TV before. Uh, I want to say how much I love Stan Druckenmiller. Uh, you know, we've been <laughs> partners in this work for over 27 years. Uh, and none of this, the zone would not have happened. Uh, and you know what? I, I think I think America can learn something about this, right? Two guys from different worlds deciding we both love this country and America can be better than it is. And the only way we do that is that we got to roll up our shirt sleeves and we got to really work at this really hard. Uh, and we've been doing that. Uh, and, you know, Stan stepping down after 20 years is something that uh, you know, I'm very emotional about it uh, because of what we've done. Uh, but here's, here's what people don't understand about the zone. When we started in Harlem, there was not one national chain in Harlem. People did not believe you could do business in black communities. You come to Harlem today and you can find every national chain in America there, and they're all doing well. Uh, this is about not just what's good for these poor black and brown kids, uh, but it's good for America, for us to rebuild these communities. And that's what Stan and I uh, were involved in, and we're passing that baton to Kwame uh, so he can continue this work moving forward. Thank you, well, Jeff. We'll, I love we'll you, get too. Back to it. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Stan, I want to... Uh, I, I mean, it, I, mean it, I think at, at some point it was like, you know, it, it was a very... Um, you know, to, to try to do it took some forward thinking and some some big thinking. And they needed a guy like you, Stan, that could write a check for something like that. And and, uh, and that that, you know, money is, is a lot of times doesn't solve everything. But to do what Harlem Children's Zone does, it's expensive, is it not, Stan? And, and you early on did. Was there ever a time where you said, wow, that's a big number? Will it work? The first time Jeff told me the idea, that's exactly what I said. But um, Jeff had a plan from day one, and it was a model that was laid out, and the plan looked good. But the most important part of the plan was Jeff was going to be open-minded and flexible as to what worked and what did not work. And Jeff probably this is not paying you back well for what you said about me on national TV, but the dirty little secret about Jeff is he's a data geek. And 20 years ago, when no one realized the value of data, one of the four pillars of the Harlem Children's Zone was for us to have an outside and an inside evaluator of everything that worked and did not work. And basically, we started with a model. A lot of stuff worked. A lot of stuff did not work. We had a lot of failures. And if something failed, it was thrown out the window. If something worked, we kept it. And here we are 20 years later, and I think we've really built up 20 years of IP that we're willing to share, willing and anxious to share with the rest of the nation and other communities. So is it expensive? Yeah, but that's kind of a joke because it's about $3,000 per participant. And I think the incarceration rate in New York City is over 120000 a year. And by the way, uh, no tax revenues from the gentlemen and the women that are that are incarcerated. 
So it's an absolute no brainer economically and business wise. But yeah, was I nervous about the big number? Yeah, but you just heard the man, how the hell is anybody not gonna back Jeff Canada? <laughs> yep, and the, I think that because you, you started with data so early, Jeff, you can go to, uh, to different uh, people in, in terms of, of, of funding other cities, other uh, children's zone, if you will, and other places. Um, it'll work, but it'll still be expensive. Anyway, Kwame, I want to get to you because I was thinking, you know, Jeff handed you the baton and it's like, hey, uh, Kwame, uh, there's a pandemic called coronavirus. <laughs> Why don't you? Uh, t- I mean, thanks, Jeff. Uh, it, it, was, it wasn't hard enough. Let's do this during a pandemic. And, and that has informed your, the actions you've had to take since you started, right? Absolutely. Uh, quite the time to be transitioning into the role of CEO. Uh, but I feel wholly prepared for this moment, uh, both because of people like Stan and Jeff and also our previous CEO and Williams Isom. Um, but at the, the Harlem Children's Zone is at its best in moments of crisis. And, and we always say we run towards the bullets. We don't want, run away from, from them. That's core to who we are. Uh, there's a real opportunity for us to take the leadership mantle of the response to, to COVID-19, not only on the ground in Harlem, um, but as a, a leading example for the nation.